Let's know something about the story. The story centers around language chauvinism proving true to the statement, power corrupts but absolute power corrupts absolutely. When man adopts a dictatorial attitude, he becomes insensitive towards human feelings. The story set in the days of the francisco prussian War depicts how after defeating France in the war, the Prussians wanted to acquire and rule over not only the territory of France, but also over the minds and hearts of the, hearts of the people. According to an order received from Berlin, French was no longer to be taught in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. Sorry, Lorraine. They would learn only German. The lesson renders a touching and emotional adieu to the identity of the French who were being deprived not only of their political freedom but also their identity. So the main points here will be considered as this story sets in the days of Francisco Prussian War, eighteen seventy to seventy one. Franco Prussian War nineteen seventy two seventy sorry eighteen seventy two seventy one or of course the lesson and there's a touching and emotional due to the identity of the French who were being deprived. So it is the story of the French deprived of their political freedom as well as their identity. This was about the story or the introduction to the story. Now let's have summary of the story. It is a story of French people, especially a boy named Prince or a school teacher named Mrs. Mr. Hamel. Mr. M. Hamel. So there's a school boy, Prince, and M. Hamel. A school teacher. So the first point will be considered. Friends fears while going to school. He gets let late for school. He dreaded a scolding. He had not learned his lesson on participle. He thought of running away and spending the day outside because the day was warm and bright with birds chirping. He was tempted to watch the Prussian soldiers drilling, but overcame temptations and hurried to school. So, the first thing is about friends' fears of going to school. He didn't prepare lesson on participles. Or he didn't learn the chapter of party triple thought of running away got tempted to watch the Prussian soldiers drilling. And he overcome or overcame temptations, hurried to school. Now seen at the town hall, this is the second point of the summary. So the second point of the summary is seen at the 
town hall. A crowd in front of the bulletin board. It was source of all bad news, the lost battles, the draft, the orders of commanding officer. Friends worried that the matter could be stoned by the blacksmith's remark that was plenty of time to reach school. So, <clears throat> there was a crowd in front of bulletin board. A sound by the blacksmith's remark that was plenty of time to reach school. He thought there was plenty of time to reach school. Now, usual scene at school, it was It began with a great bustle. Noise of opening and closing of desk. There were lessons repeated loudly, loudly in unison. Teachers, ruler, striking against the table hard. So, as usual, environment of school, like the present scenario, it began with a great bustle. Noise and noise of opening and closing of death. Lessons repeated loudly in unison. And so on. The next point is about the changed scenario that day. How was it changed? Everything was very still and as quiet as Sunday morning. All classmates were ready in their places. M. Hamill was pacing up and down with the ruler under his arm. And now, seeing that scene or seeing that motion, Franz frightened to enter. So, quiet and still environment. Classmates ready. And M. Hamill facing up and down with his ruler. Now the next point will be considered as the classroom surprises friend. Actually, M. Hamill, unexpectedly kind, had put on his beautiful green coat, frilled shirt, and an embroidered black silk cap, which he normally wore only an inspection and prize day. Whole school wore a strange and serious look. Back benches strangely occupied by the village people. So what was the scene about? The classroom. The surprising scene of classroom. M. Hamill. Very kind. Put on, what was his appearance? So his appearance was with a Beautiful green coat, frilled shirt, and an embroidered black silk cap, which he normally wore only in inspection and prize days. Whole school was having strange look. Back benches. Occupied by village people. M. Hamill's starting revelation. It will be the next point to consider.
What is he reveal now? He demanded full attention and announced that it was their last lesson in French. He received orders from Berlin to teach only Germans in school of Alsace and Lorraine. New teacher, he was a new teacher, there was a new teacher to join the next day. Announced last lesson. Who announced the last lesson? M. Hamill. Received orders from Berlin. to teach only German in class or in schools of Alsace and Lorraine. There was a new teacher to come to join the next day. Now the next point will be considered here as a grim realization dawns on the narrator. Now let me tell you what it was. He realized that he had so much more yet to learn. The narrator. The narrator realized that he had so much more yet to learn. He felt sorry for willing away his time and skipping his lesson. Now he didn't want to part with his books of grammar and history, which he had earlier considered a nuisance. He deeply pained at the thought of M. Hamill going away. He forgot all about the teacher's ruler and his cranky nature. He realized that M. Hamill had worn his fine Sunday clothes in honor of the last lesson. So he regretted so much. It depicts the regression of the narrator. For what? He is regretting for what? He felt sorry for willing away his time and skipping the lesson. For skipping the lesson. And consider considering them as nuisance. He forgot all about M. H M. Hamill's cranky nature. The next point will be considered as the tribute by the villagers. All the villagers gathered in the classroom as a sign of repentance for not having gone to school more often to thank their master for his meritorious service of 40 years as a mark of respect for the country which was no longer there. So the tribute was for the sign of repentance. And they were thankful to his meritorious service. Service of 40 years. Whose service? M. Hamill's service. Moreover, as a mark of respect for the country, which was not there now. No longer there. Narrator's fellow and the teacher's response. Friends asked to recite the rule for participants. Wish that he was able to recite the rule flawlessly. He feels guilty on getting every day mixed up. M. Hamill does not scold friends this day. Comments upon man's nature of postponing things thinking there's plenty of time. And makes the audience 
realize the irony of being Frenchmen but not being able to speak or write their own language. The, Ham the view of the Ham of Hamel was the lack of learning, about the lack of learning. Parents ignorant, not anxious to have their children learn. Children prefer to be put to work on farms or mills. They also blamed himself for sending children on errands for his convenience. Ham Hamel teaches his last lesson, which eulogizes French language. He calls it the most beautiful language in the world. Ask the audience to always guard it and never forget it. He gives them the lesson in grammar. He explains everything with unusual patience. Probably wants to teach them everything in one go. Follows up with a lesson in writing. He gives new copies to the students with French at least written in beautiful handwriting on them. Or students exhibit rare attention. Everyone sat to work very quietly. There's a pin drop silence. The only sound heard is the stretching of pens over paper. The little ones also work with concentration. Even beetles fail to distract them. Now friends recalls M. Hamel's dedicated service. Hamel had served the school for 40 years. So nothing had changed. The garden outside the window and his class in front of him. Only the desks and the benches had worn smooth. The walnut trees round taller and the hoping planted by him twined about the windows to the roof. M. Hamel keeps his courage. He has every lesson to the last, delivers his last lesson in history. Everyone is roused to emotion, emotion when the lesson draws to its close. Tears roll down their eyes and M. Hamel arouses the spirit of patriotism in them. As the church clock strikes twelve, trumpets of the Prussian soldiers sound in the windows, and he is overwhelmed with emotion. M. Hamel writes, We will love France on the blackboard, dismisses school by making a gesture with his hand. So this was all about the story. And the theme is the story beautifully brings to light the human tendency to postpone the learning of things. The natives of Alsace realize the folly of not giving due importance to the study of French in their school. They were mere victims of linguistic chauvinism. This story highlights the brutality of war, which makes man insensitive to human feelings and emotions. So the theme is, brings human tendency to postpone things the people are victims of linguistic chauvinism This story highlights the brutality of war. This was all about the story. Thank you.